welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so glad you clicked on this video to give it a watch. Today for you, I have a Dollar Tree haul and I have a bunch of fun finds from Five Below that I cannot wait to get um, sharing with you. I also got some Happy Mail, so let's start off with that real fast. Jay from Frugal Jay, I think you all know her and if you don't, you need to know her, head over to Frugal Jay. Um, I'll have it linked down in my description box. Was out shopping one day and she saw something that thought of made her think of me. So she sent me a message and asked if I would want it. And they are Harry Potter inspired makeup brushes. How freaking cute are these? So they came from Marshalls, um, which is awesome. I know she shops a lot at the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. I don't get to those stores nearly enough. I need to get there much more often. But she saw these, she thought of me. I have two ideas. My best friend really likes Harry Potter and my daughter likes Harry Potter. So, so does my son, but he doesn't wear makeup. Um, and so I will probably use these as a re-gift for one of them because I just think that they are so awesome. So I wanted to share that. So these, again, they came from Marshalls by the tag on the back. How cool is that? And thank you, Jay. Um, you'll be hearing more about Jay as I get into my haul. So again, I have fun finds from Dollar Tree that I've been super excited to share with you. And and then I have some also amazing finds from Five Below. Um, if you can't tell, Easter is down, got it all packed away. So right now I have a blank tree. I do have an idea um, of what I'm going to be putting on it. So stick around with me here through this haul and you'll hear more. But before we get to that, I found that some of these t-shirts from Dollar Tree, they're typically $5. They come from their plus section and they were marked down to $1.25 which I was super excited about. So I grabbed this MTV one back when MTV used to actually play music um, by the little boom box here. They don't really play much music anymore, but um, I grabbed this. I figure it'll be great for either a workout shirt or a sleep shirt. When I want a comfortable t-shirt, I tend to cut out the seam right here around the neck, and then I'll usually cut off the seam at the bottom and stretch them out real good. Usually it depends on what they're made out of if it really works well to do that. This one is 60% cotton, 40% polyester, so we'll see. We'll see if that one works to give it a little snip, but for $1.25, it's worth it to try. So I grabbed that, sorry, I made you shake, and then I grabbed another one in size large. My son and daughter, they both wear t-shirts to bed, like they're big like t-shirt pajamas, and so I figured I'd see if one of them wants this one. So I got the extra large, that one's for me, the large potentially for one of my kiddos, and to see if they want it as a sleep shirt. I don't think my son will wear it as a regular shirt, but um, you never know. And then I picked this one up also in an extra large. It was also $1.25, and it's the Rugrats. I used to love the Rugrats. My first email address was rat rug and some number um, at like Hotmail or AOL, probably at AOL.com, uh, because I wanted Rugrat, but it was already taken, so it was rat rug. So I have always been a big, big fan of the Rugrats. I always really loved Tommy. He was adorable. And um, the baby, who's not on here, Dill. Dill's not on here. So uh, pick this one up also for a workout or a sleep shirt or both. You know, you just never know. So that was an exciting find for $1.25. Again, I think they're normally in the plus section. The, in the plus section usually has a nice array of t-shirts. And I think I've seen those before but I don't typically shop their t-shirts. There's one, oh, I think I actually grabbed it at Five Below that I had been wanting, but I, I found it. So you'll see my Five Below t-shirt. Then one day my son went with me. So I got him some black flip-flops for Easter. I got all the kids flip-flops and they were a little bit too small for him. And when he was with me, I had him like hold these up to his feet. These are a little bit too big for him. They are the men's small, size six, seven. Um, they were slightly too big, but too big is better than too small, and they'll last him for the summer. So we grabbed these so that he has a just inexpensive pair of flip-flops. He puts them on when he's taking out the trash or um, if we're just running around or anything like that. So he wanted those, and he also wanted some gel pins. He couldn't really give me a real reason why. He's like, well, we grade our own work at school, and I would like a gel pin because I think they're really nice. So we picked him up this four-pack of gel pins. They come with orange, kind of like a plum brownish color green and yellow so those are for him we also grabbed him a little to go toothbrush and toothpaste because we were on the way to the dentist and he needed to brush his teeth so got him that too so he could brush his teeth before he got to the dentist so um my tree is empty i do have a plan 
Um, thank you everybody for your suggestions in the comments. I think what I'm going to do, I have my little mini all occasion tree that is always up all year long. And this one's just newly up like past thing, or, uh, Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to decorate ice cream in here, kind of um, ice cream cones and stuff like that because I do have a box down in my basement left over from a birthday party. I kept it just in case I ever wanted to use it as seasonal decor. There's the pups. They just want to say hi. Um, and so that's what I think I'm going to do. But I know I don't have a ton, not a tree worth. So I've been picking up a few things at Dollar Tree. But then I think my little small all occasion tree is going to do patriotic red, white and blue and stay that, you know, throughout the seasons. Um, I still have Eric's dinosaur party. So we'll see kind of what the swap is for that. But that's kind of where I'm going with it. So for ice cream decor, I picked up these to use just as decor. Um, I can't even imagine trying to drink out of one of these things. I don't even know the number of ounces that is in here. It says hand wash only. It does not say BPA free, so I wouldn't know if it's BPA free, but they are adorable for decor. Um, they're gigantic and they're just going to make a statement. So I got one of each, the pink and the white. These are the only two colors that I am seeing. I have seen on other people's like crafty groups where they're putting sprinkles on them, like using their Cricut and cutting out sprinkles. So that might be something that I do. We will see if I want to kind of up them a little bit with that, but I got these for some ice cream decor because I have the tree that I do. I do a couple of tier trays. I think I'm going to just do my um, coffee bar, the coffee and donuts until the next thing because that's what I have for in there. Um, but then I got this because it is perfect for a tier tray. It's like a little waffle cone and ice cream, a little fairy house. So I thought that that would be really cute on a tear tray. And I picked this up. It says welcome with the ice cream bars. Um, I might pluck these off and just use these like like ornaments on my tree. For now, you'll I'm probably just going to hang it on there just like this until I pull everything out and see what I have. And there's a few more things I'm looking for from Dollar Tree as well. Uh, but I need to get on it because this is only going to be up until Eric's dinosaur party at the end of May. So it's it's now or never. It's time to do it. But I picked this up. There's something else that I've seen other people hauling. It's like a little, like, I think it's a six pack of, like, they call it decor, but I think it's kind of cardboardy like this. And I think it came with two ice cream, two pineapple, and two something else in the pack, if I remember correctly. And I've been looking for that, but I haven't found it yet. Um, and then lastly, what I picked up for me for ice cream decor um, are these. They're just the plates and napkins. Um, just a little um spoiler the teachers end of year gifts are going to be ice cream inspired or ice cream gifts it's called an everything but the ice cream basket so you're going to see some of these things again because i'm putting them in their basket but these are the things i'm going to put out for my decor um for the next month or so so i wanted to share that with you but you'll see them again <coughs> excuse me i'm fighting a cold so and then i picked this guy up this is just a cute little squirrel dog toy it has a squeaker in it I'm not going to squeak it because I will wake the two pups up but I picked this up for frugal J if you're following her story her son passed away several months ago from a traumatic brain injury every time she goes to visit him at his grave there's a squirrel that hangs out and you know it just now has a special place in her heart um, and make sure you're keeping all your love positive vibes prayers everything going to Jay because she deserves all of it she is the sweetest kindest most amazing person if you're not subscribed to her channel and sleek down in my description box you should definitely subscribe but um, um, I saw this and it made me just think of her and so I wanted to pick it up. She can either give it to her pup Charlie or she can keep it and use it, you know, as decor of some sort, but I thought he was too darn cute um, and it just, I mean, it made me think of her when I was out shopping, so I wanted to pick it up. So I picked that up for her and then I also saw the squirrel um, little like succulent planter. Its name is Skip. But it's just the little planter that's a squirrel that you can stick like a succulent in like they show here. They have so many different ones. I have collected the flamingo ones. I have a couple because I use them for a few different things. But um, sorry, Jay, it's going to be open because I want to pull him out. Um, make sure that he's good and see what he looks like. So his head is not looking like it's fully attached. He's a crack. Jay, I'm going to find you a different one before I send it. 
his head is falling off. There's a crack there. Um, so I'm not going to haul when I find the replacement, but I'm going to find a replacement one to send to her. And it's got like a little walnut where you could put the succulent in there. I'm sad though that his head is falling off. So I'm going to find a different one because I've seen them around at my stores and get this sent off to her as well so she could do it on her hutch or wherever she's putting her squirrel motif at. I'm glad I checked that before I sent it to you. So I picked that up for her. And then lastly that I have for Jay, I have a whole whole bunch of Happy Meal. It's all in a pile. I need to get it all like packed up and shipped. I think maybe you found these already, but if not, um, if so or if not, I'm going to send these to you. They're LED butterfly lights. They are so pretty. I don't want to um, open them and take them out since I'm sending them as a gift, but I think you could probably fold up the wings and... It, how pretty is that just to have sitting as your lights so um also made me think of you the blue one especially and then this one has some green on him because the blue ones and the green ones just make me think of you lately i mean of course so do the pink ones but all butterflies all butterflies make me think of you so i got all those for jay i think now i have a very full package to pack up i just need to go find another squirrel um this week i'm gonna go find another squirrel so i can get that sent off i've been waiting to do this haul so i can get it sent off um for me I did pick up a new to-do list I laughed and I love this and I I have I have things to tell you guys but I have not I'm not sharing quite yet but this says to do before the coffee wears off um Amber's to-do list I love to-do lists I have a list started on another piece of paper I just did a YouTube training by Think Media I don't know if you've ever heard of Think Media they're here on YouTube they're amazing I just did a free training with them I got inspired my my fire is lit and I think I'm starting another channel. It's a spinoff from this channel. So this one's still going to be here where I'm hauling the stuff. But I have so many ideas, but I don't think it fits quite here. So it's going to be a third channel because I have my second one. And I'm going to work harder on my second one. Amber's losing it. Um, but I have a fire lit for my next channel. So just stick around for more details. That should be coming up very, very, very soon. But I wanted a nice notebook. I found the notebook first, but it's perfect for that. Um, and so that's going to be all my ideas for content. Um, my fire is lit for YouTube. So, so many, so many new goals. Uh, I needed a new pair of sunglasses. Need is a strong word. I have sunglasses. I like this set of sunglasses a lot. It's kind of that tortoise shell. And then these polarized ones I like a lot. I ride in three different cars. I have my car, so I've always been keeping a pair of sunglasses in there. I ride in my husband's truck a lot, and then now we just got a new car. And um, I always forget my glasses when I'm getting in my husband's truck or the new car, so I just want to get some extra sunglasses so that I could just put them in all the different vehicles so that when it's really bright out, I, I have glasses, even if I've forgotten them. A couple boring things, yikes, from Dollar Tree real fast, and then we're going to get on to Five Below, which I'm really excited to share. Um, we need some more hand soap. It's just, we just need more hand soap. So I got this one. It's the one my husband likes the most. It's the clear one. And so this will probably go upstairs in our bathroom. We actually need more hand soap. I just put away the Easter ones because I have the cute little Easter ones. Um, and then the ones I keep, like my my rotation in between ones are starting to run out of soap. So I'll be getting more soap here soon. And then lastly, we needed more bags. I always pick up the Surefrest. This is the gallon size with the zipper on it. Um, and you get 13 bags in here. And then they also had the ones that don't necessarily have the zipper. They're just the um, regular zipper thing. And you get 16, so you get three more. I use these a lot when I am putting away seasonal decor because that keeps little things contained in the totes. And so I used up a bunch of them when I was putting away Easter because Easter had a bunch of little stuff. And then lastly, I have two. That's what fell It's in this bag. I got two of the quart size storage bags they have the zipper on them too and they each come with 17 bags because I ran out of that size as well all right let's jump in to five below super excited I went two different trips to collect this stuff the first one my husband was with me so we picked up a couple things there too and then then I forgot some of the things that I had a purpose for so I went back so first of all my husband just got a new set of airpods 
He's not big into AirPods. Hopefully they're AirPod Pro. I don't know much about AirPods, but he said um, that it's like a small little case. He's worried about it getting lost. I'm like, well, we should get a, like a holder for it. And we find the, found the pineapple one at Five Below. To be honest, when we go on our road trip this summer, he's like, you'll probably just be using them there so that you can have some nice earphones in the car. And so that's a big reason why we picked it up. And it is a pineapple and he doesn't care. So he'll use it too if it's a pineapple when he's using them um so yeah i just thought that was super cute so super excited about that i am putting together a care package it's not it's for my friend reached out to me i made her gift baskets in the past and she reached out wanting a care package for one of her friends you'll see the entire care package coming up in probably next week it'll probably be next week that you'll see all the items um but i got a bunch of it from dollar tree as i always do but i wanted to get this cup from five below because it's um one of her friends who just found out she has cancer and is starting chemo and i thought a nice water cup would be perfect because you know you just need to drink water and i think for everyone it's different you need to find the cup for you this style of cup is 100 percent what works for me to drink my water every day i have two Starbucks ones and two five below ones I think that are like this kind of studded style and that's what keeps me drinking my water um but I love these cups I think they're so nice looking and so I grabbed this to put into that care package for her we saw right as we were checking out some of these protein bars I actually meant to eat one that day and I never did they are the one bars happy birthday cake I like these I think they're really good I'm pretty sure they're five points each on Weight Watchers that's for my other channel though um, 220 calories 20 grams of protein only one gram of sugar but 23 carbs so depends on what you're watching if it's worth it or not um, I think the flavor of them are really good though so I picked those up to have them just as a snack as needed uh, we picked this little adapter up. I was going to call it a toggle, but it's an adapter. So this is the kind that my phone uses. Um, so it plugs into your phone and then you can plug other things in, either another USB-C so you can like charge it and like say use my microphone because I have a microphone that I attach when I record for you guys. So um, I always need to make sure I have charge on my phone when I start my hauls. But if I'm ever running low, this could be very useful because I can charge it and record with my microphone all at the same time. So we picked this up just to have on hand because sometimes that's just necessary. Now this one was just kind of funny. We have two people who we thought um, would really enjoy having a little bobblehead Jesus in their life. Um, so his boss, he was like, you know what, my boss needs one of these. And then I don't know if his sisters watch my hauls, but I always joke. So his, his sisters live in Utah and, um, you know, Utah is very strongly Mormon and they're not Mormon, but I, they know a lot about that religion. And I've learned actually a lot from his sister, Abby, because she has a lot of friends who are Mormon. And she said, like, every household has a picture of Jesus in there. Like, if you're Mormon, that's just one of their regular practices. And I was always asking, I'm like, you're in Utah. You need to have Jesus in your house. Like, that's that's just part of being here. And so I thought she would enjoy having a bobblehead Jesus. I think that that's just a fun way. And we all believe in Jesus. Like, that's, that's not what this is at all. But um, they sold it, and I bought it. And so we're going to give a bobblehead Jesus. I mean, it's just a fun way to, like, I mean, honestly, it keeps your mind on Jesus by having that so that's why we picked those up all right so we have established that I'm going to be doing ice cream as the theme right now at least in my living room area I found this guy he was five dollars cute and cuddly not a squash mellow but just like a really cute fuzzy stuffy who is an ice cream cone um he might just be like a pillow on my couch throughout this ice cream stage or um I don't know I'll find a home for him through this decor season but I thought he was so so cute so cute and then I found this it's not ice cream per se but it reminded me of ice cream it's a cupcake truck and it's close enough to me to be ice cream um they does have sounds Cupcake, come and, get em. and the lights turn on to the headlights and then we have And I think the last one is. Oh, goodness. Okay. So we got that. Um, there's two other ones. I did see those there. There is the taco truck 
which also is amazing. Oh my gosh, the song keeps going. And then there is the Smokey's Barbecue truck. All super cute. Um, I'm afraid that that just started it over. Um, so we're going to just have some sound, some beautiful music while I share the rest because I started it over. And then my husband was with me for this one too and we found some Hot Wheels. We found <laughs> this music is distracting. Um, a red Tesla. This is the Tesla Y and I've just been collecting Teslas. It's just really fun because it's a neat car. This thing never ends. And then this one is a Rivian R1T. We saw one of these on the road the other day. I didn't even know this was a real car. I would have thought this was a fake car, but um, it's real. We saw one. It was in white. It was beautiful. So pick up these two cars. This is the never ending little musical truck. Okay. And then for the care package that I'm putting together, I picked up this throw blanket. Um, I honestly think I want to go get another one for myself because it is so soft and pretty. Um, it is 50 by 60 inches. It's the Lux Collection Ombre Blanket. So I'm gonna be folding this up as small as possible to put in this care package because it has to be mailed. But um, thought that that would be just a really nice piece to a, a care package that someone's going through chemo. Um, and then my friend who's having me put this together, she mentioned that they have two kids. So I'm putting together two care packages for this particular person, one for the her bestie friend, her best friend, and then her husband too, just like a caregiver one. And then they have two kids and she talked about doing a stuffy for each of them. And so I grabbed these from Five Below. So they were $5.95 each, I think is the cost of their squash mellows right now. So I got the raccoon for the little boy. And I this is a snow cone or cotton candy is what I would assume this little one is. I wish they would tell you like exactly, but sometimes they just give you hints in here. Um, it doesn't tell me. It talks that they're going away to camp. I don't really know what this has to do with camp, but, um, I thought it was super cute because it's, um, they have a three-year-old little boy and a one-year-old little girl. And so I thought that these would both just kind of work really well for this. And then this is a little raccoon. That one I can tell. They're not going, I would think the raccoon was going off to camp, not the snow cone, but I digress. And then lastly, one thing that I had picked up for me, um, again, we had gone to two different stores. The first store did not have this in my size, but the second store did. So I nabbed it up and it's a t-shirt. Um, it looks like this. It says Surfer Paradise, but it reminded me of the Santa Monica Pier, which I love piers. I say I love beaches and I do love beaches and I love the ocean, but I really, really, really love piers. Um, going and just going walking out onto a pier and looking out into the ocean and I have almost every time seen some sort of beautiful wildlife in the water I have seen dolphins I have seen um oh man what's the name of them the um the cow of the sea you know what I'm talking about right the cow of the sea um I've lost it but um that was amazing to see too I keep wanting to say norwal it was not a norwal if I saw a Norwal, I would freak out. But um, I love piers. So this one reminded me of the Santa Monica Pier. It just, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'll look up and see when the Santa Monica Pier was established. If it was 1850, which I don't think it was. But I just thought that this was a beautiful shirt. So I'm going to have this as a t-shirt to wear throughout the summer. So guys, whew, that is everything we have today. Um, I haven't already said it, but if you don't forget, please hit the subscribe button, join my YouTube family, hit the like button, um, hit the bell button. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave a comment down below. Do all the YouTube-y things because I would appreciate it so, so very much. I am so happy that you've all been here with me. If you are still here, leave me an emoji down below of anything beachy themed um, or a Ferris wheel. Um, let's see, we have on here a Ferris wheel because that's on the Santa Monica Pier, a dolphin. Um, tell me, if you just tell me what the animal is that I cannot think of the name of it, it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. Um, tell me that, then I know you were here till the end. Um, a sun, a, the beach, the wave, anything beach emoji. I am looking forward to our vacation. We are 70 some days away, I think. It's either 80 or 70 some days away to, from going to California and going to the Santa Monica Pier. So guys, that's what I have for you today. Stick around for tomorrow. I am a day late. I was feeling a little under the weather tomorrow. I'm still feeling a little under the weather today. My boys are both sick. I'm getting it. 
um, and I'm I was trying to sweep it off yesterday. So I'm a day late today, so tomorrow you'll be getting a new haul, which I'm really excited to share. It's going to be a good one, and, um, and then Saturday you'll get your haul too. So just stick around. You'll see those. Tomorrow's is going to be a good one, though, and I can't wait until I see you next time. Bye, guys.